Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question backspace string compare. Okay, so first of all, I think we can solve this question with stack. So every time we create a stack, and if we find a hash, and the stack has data, so we pop, and if not the case, that means we find the alphabet, so just append the alphabet to stack. Very simple, right? And then at last, um, we compare to stack, so that we can uh, return like a true or false. So, but uh, we can actually uh, improve the space complexity to O1. So let me show you how. To improve space complexity, we can use the pointers for string S and string T. But the problem is we don't know whether we should keep these characters or not. So to solve the problem, my idea is to iterate through the both input strings from the end. So if we iterate through from the end, in the case, basically, if we meet the alphabet, then we should keep them. And if we meet hash, then next character will be removed. So yeah, iterate from the end um, makes the problem easy. I think uh, there are four basic cases we should consider. So first case is the case where the same characters remain in the end. So example case is a, b, hash, c, and a, b, hash, c. In this case, uh, we remove b and uh, t, uh, no, d. <laughs> and then um, a, c remain, a, c remain, right? So in that case, we should return true. And the second case is where we remove all characters at the same time. So in this case, s has two hash, so we can remove a, b. And then um, t also has like a two hash, so, and uh, we iterate through from the end. So we find the hash, and then delete d, and then we find the hash, delete c. So in the end, all uh, two strings are empty. So in that case, uh, we should return true. But in this case, point is at the same time. Case three is where we remove all characters in one st input string first. So this is uh, actually opposite of case two. So example case is a b hash and c has d hash. In the case, um, we remove b from string s and uh, for t, so we find a hash, so delete d. Again, we find a hash and delete c. In the case, s has a and uh, t is uh, empty. In that case, uh, there is a difference, right? So in that case, we should return false. And the case four is a uh, where different character remain in the end. So this is a uh, opposite of case one. So for example, a hash c and b. In that case, um, so we compare c and b, and uh, yeah, they are different, right? So in the end, so different character remains. So in that case, we should return false. So we consider these four cases. And uh, I'll show you how to uh, implement the code uh, in the next section. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So with that being said, let's get into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, um, initialize a uh, um, pointer. So pointer s is length of s minus 1. And uh, so we copy this. And uh, pointer t, length t minus 1, right? Because we it is from the end. And uh, while ps is greater than or equal to 0, or pt is greater than or equal to 0, in the case, we, iterate, we continue iteration. And uh, first of all, we update uh, ps and pt. And uh, uh, we implement uh, like a function. Let's say get next byte character index and uh, passing the current string s and uh, ps. And I copy this, pt. So change the variables, uh, argument, and uh, t and the pt. So OK, let's um, implement uh, this function. So here, so def get next valid characters index. So string and uh, end. So we count a backspace. So backspace count. So first of all, zero, right? And then while end is greater than or equal to zero, so we continue. And if s end is hash, so we find hash. So 
counter plus one to backspace, like a backspace count plus equal one. Else if back uh, space count is greater than zero. So in that case, um, find the alphabet, but uh, skip it because uh, we have back spaces. In that case, add minus one to back space count minus equal one. Else, so this else is uh, the case where like uh, if we don't have a back spaces and the current character is alphabet, so it's time to compare two characters from S and T. So that's why just break. We don't do anything. And then every time we um, move to like a beginning, so end should be minus equal one every time. And then return end. So return current endpoint for the next iteration. We might use uh, this endpoint later. And then, so we do the same thing so P, for PS and PT. And then, so as I explained earlier, so there is a four cases, right? So if PS is uh, less than zero and the PT also less than uh, zero, in that case, we should return true. So this is, I think, case two. And if PS is less than zero or PT is less than zero, in that case, we should return false. So this is a uh, case three. And uh, else if S and uh, PS is not equal P, uh, T and uh, PT. So we have a different character. In that case, we should return false. So this is, I think, case four. And then every time uh, PS minus equal one and uh, PT minus equal one. And then if we don't meet uh, these three cases, we should return true. So this case is, uh, I think, case one. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Typo. Backspace. So let me submit again. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of max of length S or length T. So um, that's because uh, we continue iteration um, like a uh, PS is greater than or equal to zero, or PT is greater than or equal to zero. So in the case, we take a longer string. So that's why. And the space complexity is O1. We don't use extra data structure, just a simple variables, I think. Fuck space count, PS, PT. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. I'll see you in the next question.